Film me. Film me. Oh, can that, that's Film me. That is not assault. You want to see assault? I'll show you assault. You obviously don't know the There's goddamn difference. You want me to go get, get the god? Was it locked? Yes. Oh yes. And then, but I'm, but I'm in here, no, right? I didn't break. I didn't break in. How did you get in? I didn't break in. You walk in behind me, right? <laughs> Well, can I see the policy at your, at your state? I can refer you to our public relations office. Is she or he here? No, they're at our headquarters in Madison. Arrest me, please. You gonna arrest me? Out of the building, please. You gonna arrest me if I don't leave? If you don't leave, sure. We trust that. Okay. Welcome back to the channel. Today's compelling episode will explore intense confrontations between citizens and law enforcement in public areas like libraries, NYPD precincts, and DMV offices. The individuals featured in these videos were simply exercising their right to record in public, but face negative reactions and even threats from those entrusted with upholding the law. Should public officials truly be held accountable to the citizens they serve? Oh, watch the video to find out. Recording a license plate in a public space inadvertently leads to threats and assault by the vehicle owner. Still gonna do this? You're yeah, because now I'm gonna go to the cops and tell them to pull you over for. I want to press. Tell the cop. Here side. comes one right now. Baby, go ahead. In most U.S. court rulings, such as Glick v. Cunniff, 2011, and ACLU v. Alvarez, 2012, it has been established that citizens have the right to record in public spaces, especially government employees performing their duties, as long as it doesn't cause interference. However, when a citizen exercised this right to film public officials outside the Riverview Public Library in Florida, the reactions from those present were truly shocking. Not allowed to do that within the no solicitation zone. I'm not violence. soliciting. I'm exercising my constitutional right. The non solicitation zone is marked by the uh, church. I'm not soliciting. I'm exercising constitutional right. Your name, I said you're filming. But not what if, I haven't had any people. I'm not handing out anything. Stand right there. Are you detaining me? No. Attack. Is there a reason? Back off, dude. Is there a reason? Oh, I'm expressing my constitutional right. Is there a reason filming my tag? Did you drive past me? What What are you filming me for? I'm not sure. I have a right to know. You. Uh, oh, you what's this going to be used for? I'm working on a story. What? Why? Why the mask? Why the sunglasses? Why the hat? You would say this is Clark Kent. Come on, I'm not stupid. That that Superman, you're saying you're telling me where are you from? What are you what are you filming this for? Where does it look like I'm from? That well show me a real ID. Are you Clark are you Kent? A cop? You wanna see who I am? This is who I am. And I actually did something this, for this country. There's a bullet hole right there. Okay? What do you think you're doing? I'm exercising the right to What do you think for? you're doing? You're not doing anything but intimidating these people. Do something with your life. Why don't you go home and enjoy your day? Why don't you? Why don't you let these good people vote without some jackass up in here with a goddamn phone? Film me. Film me. Oh, can that, that's Film assault. me. That no, is not assault. assault. You want to see assault? I'll show you assault. You obviously don't know There's the goddamn the difference. Right you want me to go get, get the goddamn mask that's a misdemeanor. Go get him. In Section 784.011 of Florida law defines assault as an act that threatens violence or creates fear of violence, accompanied by the ability to carry it out. In the video, the man's actions of physical contact and threats toward the citizen could be classified as assault under this statute. The individual expressed anger over the citizen filming his license plate. However, since this occurred in a public area, recording from a public sidewalk is entirely legal, protected under the First Amendment's guarantees of free speech and press. I'm creating privacy in public. Why don't you leave and let No, me... I ain't leaving anywhere. Leave so this person can go. Oh, you just hit me. Now well, you just touch, this to show touch you me so... again, my and I'm going to show you what's I didn't intend to touch you. You actually physically touched me, which is on two different oh, cameras. Ah, you poor baby. Dude, do you think you're a badass with that sh You're pathetic. Go somewhere. Why don't you go home? And I'm not go going home. home. Not until jackasses like you go do something with your life. Instead of, oh, you're it. exercising your right. What right are you exercising? First Amendment. First, first Amendment. Speech. Filming Very other people's your First Amendment right. Wearing a stupid ass dress. Are you a fucking moron? Your mom go must home. be real. God, go I'm home, not dude. doing shit. Never you got out of the car. You would have never been on the What were you filming my license tag for? I was the only person that you turned around. I was calling the supervisor elections because you're inside a hundred and 
50 feet intimidating people feet of this goddamn polling place and if you knew the law you'd know that assholes i tell you what someone jumped up in my face like i just did to you they'd be laid out yeah i'm moving it all you had to do is idaho bravo hector bravo five seven gmc really? canyon the cops and tell them to pull you over first i want to press tell the cop here side. comes one right now Baby, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and move. I'm sorry. I'm dealing with this jack wagon. It is evident that the citizen was threatened and assaulted. Yet, disappointingly, the police seemed intent on overlooking the incident. With their authority and responsibility, the police could have detained the man and investigated rather than hesitating, allowing the perpetrator to leave the scene. This was a mistake, reflecting a lack of fairness and accountability in protecting citizens exercising their legal rights. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. I'm How you doing, sorry, partner? Can you. I get her name and badge number, please? M I L A R D. Okay. Badge number is 258018. Now, what's going on today? Just out here peacefully, quietly, on our rights of public oh, property, 100%. which is this. I, I, I wish this you jack wagon comes up and assaults me on two different cameras. No, I got you. I got you. So, camera is assault. I want him arrested. So listen to me, you're at, a, you're at a place where you know all the... I'm nowhere inside, I've never been inside, I've been in this parking lot the whole time. Okay, so why are you filming everybody, can you tell me? Because I'm exercising my constitutional right to press on public property. Okay. Do you, do you have to like get up in people's faces? Or... Nope, nope. Okay. I've been in this pen. Yeah, I got you, okay. The closest I've ever been is that sidewalk right there. Other than that, I've never been in this. that jack wagon who assaulted me and you... You right there. Okay, so we got we got a couple units and a supervisor on the way. I want you to go ahead. With, while you're with me, can you just, you can film me as long as you want, okay? Sure. Right. No. Because there's no expectation of privacy in public. Brock, I'll give sure. you one right now. No, because I saw you over there, parked over there. I'm like, well, it's a good thing that the cop is right there. Because now, I told him. It's like, I, I do this. For my sake, my rights, and people get so triggered over a camera. You got a YouTube channel? Are you? Yeah. You uh, sovereign? No, I don't work for the police. No, are you a sovereign citizen? Sovereign is somebody that doesn't believe the law applies to them. Yeah, all I want is peace in my county, brother. No, that's cool. I, the police? I'm against bad police that violate people's rights, throw them to the ground and yeah, abuse them. I got you. Anybody. All right, I'm going to give you this. I don't have a case number right now, but okay. I'm going to hand this off to you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Once my supervisor comes and... So he grabbed me, physically grabbed me. Is that That's considered assault, we'll, isn't we'll, it? We'll figure out what's going on, okay? And then okay. Good, because that, if that's considered assault, I want... I work for, today on. I work for the library, okay? So that's I'm here to protect the so, library. That's what I know you can't do much. If you can't do much, then protect this. That's fine. Yeah, but so if that is assault, I want him arrested. What's going on, okay? So yep. Everything has an investigation. So. He, he initially saw me, and I kept an eye on him because he's looking kind of fishy to me. He kept going on the phone. I'm call, possibly calling the cops, so I'm, yeah. you know, like this. And so, an eye on him in case I get... You understand why people get bothered by it, right? Not really. No, it's a camera. We... You're all the time you're being a video recorded over 100 times a day as soon as you leave your house yeah. every tesla a thousand people a day yeah there's a lot of people so you know, yeah my body cam catches things you know everything like that. my but body again that's right you know, we all understand when you're out in public I, all i'm saying is you got to understand not everybody is versed in the law like that and unless they're at a riot or something like that they don't like being you know but we'll, we'll make sure everybody is aware of the law we'll make sure this is documented correctly okay if they don't know the law, then I believe it's if somebody gets called, like you, yeah, yeah. he's allowed to, he or she's allowed to do this. There's nothing I can yeah. do. No well, law was broken. He's recording right so what? We relieve some tension. Relieve some tension. We don't want you getting hurt or anything like that. We don't want somebody else getting hurt. So, so that's an important.
part of it. In the end, I'm left wondering whether the supervisor ever showed up to stand by the citizen and protect their legitimate rights. Nonetheless, it's undeniable that the man's disregard for the law and the officer's unprofessional handling of the situation led to a violation of the citizen's rights. Stay tuned for more videos that support this citizen's complaint to ensure our rights are upheld correctly and safely. Police need a citizen to research the law they're supposed to enforce. Why? Why can't I be in here? Because you, you're trespassing to them. How am I trespassing? You're criminally trespassing. Show me the law saying that you can be here. But it's it's, it's not on me to educate you on the law. No, you're, I know you're the law. You're a law enforcement officer. Okay, you right? can't be in here, sir. Okay. At Chicago Public Schools (CPS), a citizen arrived to file a Freedom of Information Act (FOIA) request regarding $23 million spent on computers and approximately $2.7 million on surveillance equipment that remained unused. This individual was exercising their legal legal right to ensure government transparency. However, upon arrival, they faced resistance from staff due to recording and refusing to provide ID. Sir? Yes. Um, I mean, as long as I haven't been to any, this is private property? Yeah. CPS is private property? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Oh. We, have, we have children that come to this building. Uh, we serve as children. Yeah. You still record, right? Yes, I am. Okay. I, yeah. It's, yeah. I want to let it be on record that I actually got to record. I appreciate it. You have any identification on you? Um, why do I need that identification? You don't have an ID, you can't be in here. You guys don't have like a sign in sheet or everybody has it. You see this? Okay. Everybody got scanned in. We gotta keep count of weapons in this building. I do understand that. I do this for a living, man. I understand it. Right. I, I got one separate request. Right. You got any identification on you? Right, but there's there's no requirement. It's for CPS. It's a policy, right? Yeah. So, when you when, yeah. when you come in this door, you're supposed to have an ad. Here you guys know who you are. Because all we know, you come here and stick us up. We don't know that. No, that's not why I'm here. We, we <laughs> don't I, I know that, sir. Right, right, right. You have identification, sir. Can you provide identification? I, I have an identification. But the, are the, you wanting to provide your identification? Because I have a right not to to to, uh, to give you my ID sir, to be are you, here. Are you, are you willing to give your identification? At the moment, no, I'm not willing okay. to, to give up my so my, my, my my Fifth Amendment right. I said that? Yeah. You are not willing to be checked in, you have to leave the building. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm here. If you just give me a form, I'll fill out my request, and then you guys can, you know, and and give me the information that I need. That's that's why I'm not here to cause trouble, man. I, I, right, never right, a right. Yeah, but I don't I don't want to give up that right. I have, okay. I have there Yeah. Officer there, you, put, you shouldn't have left across there. But, but it's, it's a public building, though. Yeah, you know, but still, if he's doing security, either one of us doing security, if you're, okay. not, to, if you're not gonna provide any identification, okay. you want to come up in here. Sir. Building staff repeatedly demanded the citizen present ID for verification before proceeding. But was this requirement lawful? Well, according to Illinois Law 725, Illinois Compiled Statutes 5107-14, police may only detain someone if they have reasonable suspicion that the individual has committed, is committing, or is about to commit a crime. During detention, they may request the person's name, address, and explanation of their conduct. However, in this case, the citizen committed no crime, and security staff had no authority to demand ID unless a crime was suspected. You have to keep yes. an account for whoever's even, in this even, building. Okay. Even the ones that work with the board have to show identification. Yeah. You, you see this? So even now, I'm, that's why. You're anybody, an employee. Even the parents right. that come here say, have to show identification. Even the guardians. Even right. guardians that come here. You can just, understand it because I asked you for your ID five years ago. No, no, no. The, the reason is we have rights for a reason. And and what if you I. Have the you don't know what I'm what I'm doing as, 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 as far as an, an investigative journalism, right? So if I tell you who I am, that 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 tells not, you. You telling me who you are is not enough. Okay, so you have to identify who you are by identification. Yeah, but person. but I'm not required. It's not there's no yeah, there's, there's not a law. Required. Okay, your policy is not. In order to be in this building, you have to Your policy is not law, though. Law, law trumps your policy. So, if you got to call the police, do what you got to do. No, no right. Because I'm I'm here to fill out a FOIA request and leave. That's all I'm here well, to sir, do. It, 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 because I don't want I, because because, because I don't want to give up my rights. Well, you're not giving up your rights. I don't want to give up my you're rights. Not I have a I have a call is showing identification. I have a Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my in my papers and and and, and, and it's effects, just like we have right? rights. To, you have, we are security. We have we have supposed to have protection. Yeah. Make sure each and every one in here is protected, and that's our right. So I was giving you my ID. Protecting because children. we can know I don't, who I don't you get it. are. Okay. We would know who you are. Okay. So if, first if, of all, if it's something identify me, right? If I do something down the line, 
to I hurt anybody, like this, right? Sir. If if you was coming in here to want to do, you, I feel like you should. Anybody, if they go see somebody that walk in somebody, if you okay. go to the hospital, you can't walk past the hospital without showing them. It's no, a hospital. It's not. This is and, a, a place of business, just like a hospital. Is. It's it's a public building, man. And so are the hospitals. Right, right. Are they private hospitals? Right. They're private hospitals. I'm not here to argue with you, ma'am. Well, how? What am I doing wrong? What are, wait, what am I doing wrong? Because my client only asks you for identification. But I, I, I don't. Yeah. You're giving up their right. You know, I'm not, I don't want to give up well, my identity, you right? But you, you know what? But but you show your ID. That's what you should have seen. Nobody asked me that. And then and then second of all, ma'am, can I ask why why this door is why people can't come in here? Gate to see how you at. Okay, we but, it, but it's, that we already told you what type of facility this is. But was it, but it's a it's here. a public building though. It is CPS no, is a not. CPS is a no, public entity. You right? don't even know what goes on in this building, and we don't have the right to tell you that because that's really mm -hmm. not. Nothing. No idea though to know what's going on in here, ma'am. Right? If you don't it's, wanna, it's, okay. it's it's your business. Okay, it's so my business okay, as a taxpayer. You say, okay. You want to ask me a question? Okay. But you don't want to show no identification, okay. right? So I'm not obligated to tell you what type of building this is for 20 years too, sir. So okay. don't don't try that with me. Don't try that with me. I, How you doing, sir? First of all, I, I I do not understand why this building is locked okay. to begin with. This is a public building. There are two chairs right here, which yeah. means the public can come in here and sit down and wait for services. There is no reason why we cannot come in here and ask questions of, of our public employees. Hello? Are you just walking around? You know what, sir? Uh, yeah. This this is a public building. I can go in there and use the bathroom. No. There are no signs here that says restricted. You have to have a sign if you don't want me to go past this point. You have to have signs. That's the law. I'm your sign. No, you can't be my sign. Uh, a sign that's displayed here that says either this space is restricted. Was that door lock when you got to? And then, but I'm, but I'm in here, door right? Lock. I didn't break, I didn't break in. How did you get there? I didn't break in. You walked in behind me, right? <laughs> I have it all on camera. Do you use the key to get in this building, sir? I have it all on camera. Do you use the key to get in this building? Do you want to have a conversation with me, ma'am? No, because no? it's making it hard what it is. No, but I'm, that would dissuade your 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 no, your fears, all right? I'm trying to you, tell you why I'm here. You get really getting us in trouble because no. our job is to make sure people's work in this facility is safe. We don't know who you are. Okay, but so far I haven't done anything to make anyone feel unsafe. That's have not, I? I have none of the training for that. We have to do that. We get in trouble, folks, because you have not showed us, provide us with no identity. I I I I understand. I have a right. Not to give up my identification to no, anybody unless I'm a, place, so unless I'm suspected of a will. crime. I, oh, you could just walk here with that I agree with you, but but there's there's nothing that's going on in this world that's enough anybody's it is rights. A lot, a lot going on all right, there, there's nothing enough yes, it is, for me to give up my yes, rights. Because you know what? When you start giving up, up, I don't want you to know who I am for some for, for well, a good you shouldn't be in this place for a good inside. reason for a good reason. Well, you shouldn't be in this place if you not what's all right. Do you, it, think if you, you think if you walked in a uh, Chicago public school, you're going to get past them security guard and the police? Right. That's a school. This and is not exactly. a school. This is an exactly. office. This that's is an why, office. That's why it's different. Because you know that. No, no, no. You know that. Because I can't. Because CPS. The questions that I have is with CPS, not with what, the school. Well, you should have went to the headquarters downtown. I Why did. are you in here? What did I tell you? I couldn't even find parking. Oh, yeah, but there's, par there's enough parking here. That's why I came here, because I can do the same thing here. Just fill out a paperwork, and you guys can forward it to you wherever you need to. Okay. You're not supposed to start. All right. You well, well, let's let's wait and see what if the police understands my yeah, my my my, my right to do what they I'm doing. You're in public, sir. Privacy in public. I, did, I do not consent to be recorded. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, we're waiting for the police to show up, and um, we'll see. We'll see what they do. I'll conspire with these uh, public servants here to violate my rights. As as y'all saw, <clears throat> excuse me, I was allowed in here by the security. 
While police may have shown goodwill in assisting the citizen with their request, Officer Zavala in particular seemed unaware of and unwilling to respect the citizen's rights in this scenario. Did you notice how, when the citizen emphasized their legal right to be there and submit requests on public property, the officer asked, what's the law? The right to assemble and move freely in public spaces is a fundamental First Amendment protection. Thus, the citizen had every right to be there legally. Just to let everyone know our cameras are on. Right. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. yeah, can I get your name and your back yeah, number? Yeah, sure. Savala, 18942. Thank you. Can I get yours? My last name is Lee Ang, star number 3073. To be able to sit out of the table, for any type of document, and I told him, and we have to be in this race when you walk in. Even if you're just coming in asking a question. So let let officer, for instance, let's say there was a person that he's trying to contact here, right? He said, I'm here to see, okay, I'm just here to see Johnny Smith. Oh, who are you? That's not your business. Okay, you said it's none of my business. You could be here to kill Johnny Smith. <laughs> for all I know. Day of my life. So you walk in here, he could have, you know, I, I don't know what you, you know. So, and so for the very, at the very least, this guy came online or through the actual yeah. department? You know what? I do this for a living. And every time I fill something out online, a story where I, I get told that, oh, we never received your online application. So I like to do it physically. I like to well, do it. Well, they don't have that. Right. But the, the, I don't, they don't have to have a specific FOIA request form. I can fill it out on a blank. That's what the, the law, the law gives me the provision to, because I'm recording, you know, but if you, if you, know, if you, you look up you the, the Illinois, Illinois FOIA, Request law. No, I mean if you can you look it up, that. if you don't mind, be more than happy yeah. to look at the law with you. Okay. I can. Um, but if there, not, there, you there, are there, trespassing. There, there is no official FOIA request. For, you you can fill it out on a blank sheet of paper and then give it to them. It doesn't work right? like that. This is the. This is a. This is there an is office. Too. There's there's an office, but they okay. do ha have services for children. Here. Okay. I haven't seen one child since yeah, I walked I in here. Just because right. you didn't see them doesn't mean that. Okay. Not here. I know. I understand right. that. Right. It's not illegal. Right. But right now, you can't be in here. Okay. Trespassing to them. How am I trespassing? You're criminally trespassing. Show me the law saying that you can be here. But it's it's, it's not on me to educate you on the law. No, you're I know you're the law. a lawyer. Why why can't I be in here? Because I'm I'm not trying to stay in here, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? I'm just trying to conduct my business and I'm out of here. Well, right in the sense that you're you being in a public way, you don't have to identify yourself. I appreciate this, that. This is a private institution. Them being a private school when you walk into a private building, you do have to show identification. For them. Okay, but I have to. Chicago Public School is not a private entity, right? Are you guys affiliated with uh, CPS? Or did yeah. you did you see the sign outside? CPS. I'm saying you guys said you guys were CPS, and you guys were not CPS earlier. Or... No, no, we are. We are, we are CPS. We are Chicago Public Schools, but this is just a network office. It's not. Really? Yes, yeah, a network. So but still, children could come in here because we do have after school stuff that goes on here in different days. I'm okay. on the right page. You guys are on a branch of CPS, but you guys are on a school. Yes. Yes, Correct. yes, sir. Your office building for, for Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. I mean, it's right It's right out there. It says Chicago Public School. So you want to office. fill out a blank piece of paper? Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. You have a blank yeah. piece of paper yeah. that you want to fill out, and yeah. then you're going to go on your way so you can. I don't have a blank paper. Right here. What is that? <laughs> a FOIA, FOIA request, no, right? No, he doesn't have a FOIA request. He said they don't even have it online either. Okay. He fills out, and then we right. give it to them. Right, and then they can and form. And they'll they... submit it to their supervisor. Exactly. And that's all you want. And then they can email. They'll, they'll right, contact, right. but right. again, they will probably their supervisor will call you in regards to this FOIA request. If okay. their policy states, then again. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to argue that point with yeah. you. Yeah. Right. I'm not, yeah. Right. Because I, 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 I know what I'm talking about. you contact your attorney and yeah. they'll contact, they can work on that together okay. to figure that out. For you. Okay. Do you need a pen? Uh, if you don't mind. Yeah. 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 I'm just here to hold the government accountable. Yeah. No yeah. problem. So like I said, they'll give it to them. They'll contact their attorneys in regards to, you know, and then you can contact your attorneys and then you guys can, they can figure it out together. 
The above situations affirm that citizens' rights to submit public records requests and record in public facilities are entirely legal. When citizens exercise these rights, government employees, especially police, must respect and ensure those rights are upheld. Any obstruction or lack of respect for these rights not only violates the law, but also erodes public trust in law enforcement. Oh, me. Forced to stop recording or leave the DMV for refusing to comply with unconstitutional policies. Can I ask you one more time to film over there? And, and, and I'm going, I know you're asking, and I have a, have a respect, I can respectfully decline. Yeah. <laughs> so. And then I can ask you to leave if you don't abide by. Um, it depends on the. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just documenting. Okay. What's your name? I'm not going to tell you that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the final situation occurs at a DMV in Wisconsin. The citizen arrived to inquire about procedures for replacing a lost driver's license or ID while filming the process. DMVs are frequent sites where recording rights in public spaces are obstructed without legitimate reasons. Was this another instance of such wrongful action? Like what um, what is needed in order to like do a replacement of driver's license or state ID? Is it the same amount in terms of fee? Huh? No, I'm, I'm just documenting. Okay. What's your name? I'm not gonna tell you that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, you're, you're in public. <laughs> Or I'm not doing a replacement at all. I'm just trying to come in to see what's required. The thing is, I'm I'm documenting. I'm creating. A, I'm creating content for a story, gathering content for a story. So what's required when they come up here? So, like I said, it's not for me personally. It, it would be for anyone that uh, that it applies to. There you go. Different states have different laws and different rules. That's correct. So um, for here, like I said, birth certificate or valid passport, or if you're um, proof of address like bills, credit card statements, paycheck stubs, things like that would work. That you live here, here at least two. Okay. Um, um, if you're applying for a permit, you gotta go through all the normal written tests. Right. And then road tests, of course, cost. Right. And then, um, like, permit $35, road test, be like around 43 Normal driver's license, signs from the states, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, and then if you're lost driver's license, be $14 to replace it. Appreciate it. All right. And you sure still want to give your name? I mean, you guys wear your name tag, so it's, it's got to be visible to the public. All right. Appreciate it. No problem. All right. Have a good day. You too. Though no excessive or negative actions were taken, a male staff member at this DMV still obstructed the citizens' lawful recording, despite them not causing interference or harassment. Once again, I emphasize that while government facilities may impose policies for security purposes, such policies cannot override constitutional rights protecting citizens. Documenting the transactions, because right? you know, obviously, I can film wherever my eyes can see. I'm, I'm on this side of the counter, so I, I actually, I actually am filming on this. Side. I'm standing on this side. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna film. My, but my camera is on you, though. <laughs> oh, I am. That's what I'm saying, sir. You said Davion, right? Other side of the chairs, please. You're saying the same thing that I'm doing, right? I don't have to be at a particular. And I'm not going to record the real transactions. I'm asking you to do the chairs. You can still film in this direction, but you can't film while trans while transactions are taking place. There. Oh, okay. So that's not a law to you. Okay, well, I, I, respectfully, I'm gonna continue to do what I'm doing, uh, and 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 I'm going. I know you're asking, and I have a have a respect. I can respectfully decline. So, and then I can ask you to leave if you don't abide. It doesn't apply to me, sir. I don't work here. Sir, it applies to you. No, it does not. Did anyone filming in the building? Well, uh, take the application. Why, why would you tell her to stop her transaction and how the camera's on you? Sir, You're creating 
Or I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, can I see the policy that you're that you're stating? I can refer you to our public relations office. Is she here? No, they're at our headquarters in Madison. I mean, because if you're going to try to enforce something, I would at least like to see it. Okay. You, you, you know. want to head back to my office, I can give you their contact information. Speak to nobody. So if so it's you, written. You're going to have to speak with them. So, so is it an implied policy? Yes, sir. Oh, so it's not written? Sir, while people's transactions are being done. I think you misinformed, sir. No, I'm being, sir, I'm not. Because I can film whatever my eyes can okay, see. Sir, I'm going to ask. I'm you. definitely going to. Well, I, I'm def, that'll be unnecessary, but I'll definitely leave once I get the rest of my footage. I'll book on out of here. I'm no, not no, done. Sir, no. You cannot film over here. Hopefully, I'm going to decline, sir. I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing. Hopefully, I can do it unmolested. No, no, Appreciate sir. it. You continue to film over here. I've already asked you to leave. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, but I think that's unnecessary, though. Okay. So, are you going to film on the other side where I asked you to film? I'm going to film no, sure. exactly where I was filming at. Gonna contact no. You got to do what I've you got to do. You gotta do what you gotta do, Davion. Thank you. Okay. Sir? It's Officer Hell. I've Officer Hell. Thanks a lot. Hi. What's your name? Was uh, badge number on officer? Um, a lot of what he said is accurate. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the refuse part. When you when you use the word refuse, it looks like you're due when they use the word refuse. What I tried to convey to this young man is we do have a First Amendment right to record in public. Uh, publicly assessed restricted doors today. Um, his thing was me standing in a sp specific spot in the lobby. Um, whatever my eyes can see, I can record. He, he wasn't interested. So he gave you guys a cause, a waste of resources. So I'm sorry about that. I actually just spoke to Sergeant Seeker. You guys from here? Okay. Let him know just 10, 15 minutes ago. Not like it matters, but do you have business here today? To this young lady right here about some um, information that was available to the residents of Wisconsin and things of that nature. Um, uh, going to probably file a FOIA. Yeah, probably file a FOIA. Um, get a couple of more shots at the lobby. Then I'll book on out. Okay. Nothing nefarious. Don't have any ill intent. Just want to be able to ex okay. appreciate that officer. Officer held and one more officer cop. I'll never forget that. Yeah, that's wait, forget that's that. unique. <laughs> All right. When a cowboy here said I was. Uh... <laughs> Told you, sir. I told you, cowboy, sir. Oh, <laughs> I told you. One... Look, he's, he's saying I'm a Democrat because I'm, I'm exercising oh, my rights. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, he's salty. Yeah. Have, See? Usually the person so, exactly. So, yeah. I well, just I didn't want to see you guys called out here because, you know, it could be like a bank. I mean, I get, you can understand how some people are uncomfortable being videoed. I, I can understand it slightly, but when you're in public, it's like it doesn't I, I, make sense. Cams are on right now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It is everywhere you go has a camera, so I mean, you're constantly being recorded. And I said the same thing to kind of ignore that fact. Like even the young lady right here at the front, she didn't want to give me her name at first until I pointed out the fact that they have a. And then she gave me her first name. So it was like the logic. You understand what I'm saying? So. What's up, buddy? Okay. Guys, leave. I document a little bit more in our lobby. Probably follow for you, and then I'll be on, headed on out of here. Okay. Sounds good. For sure. Okay. Have a good day. Take care. Yeah, you too, officer. Thanks a lot. <coughs> you know, that's just it. Uh, the Davion guy. The Davion. Yeah. He, he's probably sauntering in a peanut right now. As you can see, the staff at this DMV once again displayed a lack of respect for the constitutional rights of citizens. However, a positive takeaway is that law enforcement officers, LEOs, sided with the citizen in this case. This serves as a valuable reminder of the importance of safeguarding individual freedoms in all situations. Oh, the kicked out of a government building for exercising recording rights. Yours. Courier. 488. Yours. Harris, 344. You said who? Harris, 344. All right. What's your name? At the Indianapolis City County building in Indiana, a citizen visited to apply for a firearms permit and record the premises for journalistic purposes, aiming to inform the public about how this government agency operates. This action exemplifies free speech and public oversight of government institutions. However, upon entering the area to submit their request, they were stopped by staff citing restrictive signage within the building. 
Get your gun from over here. Oh, just coming around, looking around. So you got the gun permit processing here. Where you can uh, come here and get your gun. Your gun, uh, tripping up my words. And come here and get the process started for your gun license. We have an unconstitutional sign right here. They got accident and incident reports. Firearm records. Uh, everywhere. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? That's fine. We don't got to know each other. I've seen the sign. They got it up here about three or four times in here. She don't have a problem. Not only do, but this lady right here. Away from the camera, they can. Yeah, because I'm recording. Oh, uh, you'll know who I am. I was in a car accident and they took it out of the car. Is that a threat? Okay. Does that hurt what you just said to me? No. Just go stand back there. This government-owned building cannot use signs like no cell phone use to strip citizens of their right to record or oversee public officials. These signs are unconstitutional, and for the police to rely on them to demand a person leave a public area they're entitled to access is an abuse of power and an unfair enforcement of the law. I'm just recording. And I'm good with that. We just didn't allow cell phone recording in the building. That's unconstitutional, though. Documents that are confidential and everything. That's up, that's up to them to make sure that stuff stays private and covered. You can't trespass, you can't trespass. Yes, it is. It's not Actually, a public building? No, it's not. No, it's a privately owned building. Is it? Yes. Yep. So who who does building authority go through? Building authority runs, runs the building out to the city. Own building that is being utilized by the city. Exactly. So therefore, it has public access. It does have public access. However, it's restricted to certain uses of cell phone. So if anybody can walk in here... Like, she can, and I just did. Because you're recording. You can't trespass with the eyes can see. There was no cell phone. That's the unconstitutional. Yes, it does. Yes, it, does. it can't, any, anything that goes against my constitutional rights is null and void. You just said it's public. It's a private place. If I can walk in here, that means it's public. No, you can walk into a store, that's public. Yeah. But you, they can kick you out at any point. But this isn't private property. If it's leased, if it's leased, owned by the building authority, which but it's leased company. through the city, so it has public. He just said it. That's what he just said. A store, a store, a store, a store is a store is private property. Period. So it's not leased to anybody. It's just private property. If you are leasing this building to the public, it has public access. So therefore, so you rent an apartment. Is it that the same? That's thing? private. Okay. Is that the same thing? But what I do in my home, you to evict you, they can still yeah, but we y'all speaking about private property, period. This is public, least to least to the public, right? 
but uh, that's beyond the point. The point is that you're not allowed to record in here. Which is unconstitutional. No. Okay, well, sue them then. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not here to sue anybody. Sue well, you're going to have to leave the building. Well, yeah, for trespass, we asked you to leave. If you don't leave, that's trespass. But I'm in a public building. You can't that's trespass right. me yes, from a public can. building. No, you can't. I have but to commit a... No, yes, you, you do. That's how trespassing works. Trespassing no. is a secondary... Look it up. Trespassing is a secondary of offense. If you don't go, that is you can a be private. That's property. We're yeah. not going to You just you said it was leased to the yes. public. Leased. Still here's, private here's property thing, owned by someone else. Yes, you can be trespassed from the building. Yes. Asking you to leave is us asking you, you can't, to go. Well, if you do if not it's go, public, I don't have to leave. You do. Private property. We told you four times. So now we can walk out. Come on. Let's walk out. All right. What's your name, Badge Number? Canope. 80. Yours. Courier. 488. And yours? Harris, 343. You said who? Harris, 343. I don't get the information out. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Quote unquote private property. But this is public out here. Nope. Yes, it is. You're, you're down in the building. No, I'm here for We're services. I'm going, well, I don't have to tell y'all that. Yes, no, I don't. Yes, no, I do not. Building, but no, I do not. building, you do have to say. No, I do not. You do. Can y'all back up? No. Because you look like you're about to touch me. Right, so we do. No, you do so not. We don't get okay. to use the rights of the Constitution, but you do? No, not on duty. You we guys are held to a duty. higher standard. I'm a human being. You guys are held to a higher standard. Right. Held to uphold the Constitution. Right. You're still abide by the But you're violating my, my constitutional rights right now. Okay, well, sue. Sue the city. Okay. Yep. I bet that's what you want me to do, right? Sue the county. And I'm going to attach you to the lawsuit. Okay. I'm mean, being kicked out of a public building. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll be back. Private property. You go out this door or this door, whichever one you like. It's private property, right? Out arrest the building, me. Please. You going to arrest me? Out of the building, please. You gonna arrest me if I don't leave? If you don't leave, sure. We trust that. Okay. Sure. I'll be back. So you guys can see, I was just kicked out of a public building, quote unquote, private, which I'll have to look into. Cause some dumb, <laughs> some dumb stuff. Man, they got my adrenaline pumping. This incident underscores the importance of understanding and protecting citizens' rights against abuses of authority. Unconstitutional signs or policies must not be used to restrict freedoms like recording or government oversight. This highlights the need for fair law enforcement and respect for basic rights. That's all for today's video. These confrontations between citizens and LEOs show that while the right to record in public is legal, citizens often face challenges in exercising it. This is why we must protect our rights and fight for the Constitution. Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and remember, never give up on your rights.